We are going to learn how to make the Moonpreneur traffic light. How to create a traffic light project with the help of the Moonpreneur traffic light kit. With the help of this kit, you'll be introduced to the world of robotics and will get the chance to build your first DIY project the hands-on way. You must be wondering, what is the Innovator program? Or robotics is one of a kind in the industry as it offers a hands-on learning experience where you not only learn about robotics, but also end up creating your own robot while developing entrepreneurial skills at the same time. So before creating the traffic light project, first, we're going to unbox the kit that you got from Moonpreneur. Here, we have three user manuals for age 13 to 15, 10 to 13, 8 to 10. For this video, we are going to focus on 8 to 10. Then, we have 10 jumper wires, breadboard, controller board, and its cable. Six resistors, two red, two yellow, and two green LEDs. Push button, moon card, and traffic light board. We will start with the controller board, which is an Arduino Nano compatible board and the moon card. The controller board has the software that will be responsible for controlling the traffic light. Insert the controller board in the moon card as indicated. Match the drawing in the moon card, aligning the connectors and pins, otherwise it will not work. Insert the combination of the controller board and moon card in the breadboard as indicated. Ensure that the connector for the controller board is at the edge of the breadboard and the pins are aligning as we are doing it here. This will help us extend the connection to the traffic light board that we will do in the next step. We then will take the traffic light board and locate its four connecting pins. We will need to connect these four pins to the controller board we assembled in the previous step with the help of provided wires, but before that, let's connect the traffic light board to the breadboard. Here comes the connections. Black wire will go into the GND of the traffic light board and black of the controller board. The green wire in the G of the traffic light board and the green of the controller board. Similarly, the yellow wire will go into the Y of the traffic light board and the yellow of the controller board. The red wire will go into the R of the traffic light board and red of the controller board. Finally, we'll insert the USB cable into a USB power adapter. You can also use the USB port of a laptop or a computer. The USB cable helps us power up the board. And there you go. Your traffic light is working just like that. But hold on, do you know you can even tweak the duration of a particular light? Say a green light for a longer duration. And you can make them work in any order of your liking by tweaking its programming a little bit. Want to learn how to create the code? Check out the manual for ages 10 to 13 and 13 to 15. Scan the QR code available here to book our free trial class today.